has life lost its meaning? Are you overwhelmed with depression and the hardships of everyday life? Are you down in the dumps? Is your income on a plummeting downfall? Is life not how you imagined? Are you in need of spiritual guidance? Well then, have we got the candy for you? Halo. <laughs> Get halos. And just remember, Jesus saves. Halos helps. So don't delay. Get in line today. Order your halos. Dial 1-800-555-HALO. That number again is 1-800-555-HALO. Now, you, you know what I don't understand about you? What's up? You know for a fact there's a God. I mean, you've been in his presence. He's spoken to you directly, yet you claim you're an atheist. I just like to fuck with the clergy. I love that kind of stuff, you know, keep those guys on their toes. What I don't understand is you. You come to this place, day in, day out. You never leave. I don't know what it is. What is it about you? Oh, my friend. This is humanity at its best. Look at him. The anger, the mistrust, the unhappiness. For, forgotten, just for that perfect moment they step off the plane. It's beautiful. For example, look at him over there. He has no idea she cheated on him when he was gone. She did. Twice. Nice. But it doesn't matter. Because they, they, so evil. Because <laughs> it doesn't matter. Because they're so relieved to be with one another. And, yeah. So that's why you brought me here today. You get me out of bed. I'm about to take a shower, watch my fucking cartoons. You bring me down here, what is that all about? You call me and you tell me it's important? For what? For some half-assed excuse for a fucking Hallmark moment? What is that? We're going home. This was sent to us uh, by someone. Are you gonna take it? Stop leering at me. Looks like I just broke up with you. You did just say we're going home, didn't you? Read. Cardinal Glick cuts the rope on Catholicism WOW campaign? What is this? Read on. Huh. Fade to black. So, um, yeah. <clears throat> you know what I don't understand about you? What's that? You know for a fact there's a God. You've been in his presence. He's spoken to you personally, yet you claim you're an atheist. I just like fucking with the clergy. That's yeah, great stuff, you know, keep those fuckers on their toes. What I don't understand is you. You hang around this place. Why? Oh, uh, my friend, this is humanity at its best. The anger, the mistrust, the unhappiness, the forgotten, just for that one perfect moment, they step off the plane. 
for example, get him over there. She, he has no idea she cheated on him when, when he was gone. She did. Twice. <laughs> nice. But that doesn't matter, because for that one perfect moment, they're just so happy to be with each other. I like that. I wish we could all feel that way more often. That's why you brought me down here? You got me out of bed? I was about to watch my fucking cartoons and you bring me down here for that? You call me up and you tell me it's important? I don't understand you, man. I mean, there's what is this? There's something more I want to tell you. What's that? I think I'm coming out of the closet here. Why is okay. that? My dad's always been on the side of, you know, strong man, you know, you want a tough kid. So I've always tried to live up to that. But I never found men this, this the way that men are supposed to be buddies and everything in the gym room. You know? It's... I, I don't know. I, I'm just trying to express, because I know you're a friend and I know you'll listen. And you know when they spank each other with the towels and... And if I only played football, it wasn't for the game. Fuck the game. I just did that for my dad. I, I like the football. What, what are you talking about, dude? Oh. Oh, sorry. Well, we just kind of got into something. Oh, uh, uh, okay. <laughs> no, I, I try, I'm trying to be serious. And... I think I'm gay. I can't believe I just said all this bullshit right now. Hey, can we fade? I'm tired of improv. What the fuck was that? This is nothing, man. I'm sorry, I had to do something. Was oh, that okay? All right, all right. I just need to take a, oh, I just had to stop. I, ha I had to do something, man. Well, um, they used the hex chrome here in these cooling tanks of an anti-corrosive, and then they placed them here in these six ponds. I don't remember seeing any ponds over here. Well, they covered them over, and uh, not too carefully either, because you dig one inch under the surface, and the dirt is green as a fucking shamrock. And that's what caused the contamination? It didn't help, but no. You see, the real problem's on the bottom. According to this, they were supposed to line the ponds so the shit couldn't seep into the ground. But guess what? They skipped that step. I guess it was a little too inconvenient. So for 14 years, this stuff flowed into the groundwater, free as you please. Jesus. You know, I don't even want to know what you did to make that Melendez guy talk. Mm -hmm. For your information, Frank Carroll was in those ponds because he used to spend half his time waiting around them. That was his job. No shit. You know, Aaron, if I had to put three researchers on this project, they wouldn't have came up with half the information you did. This is some damn good work. Then give me another raise. I got bills to pay, plus rent. Plus, I haven't built a minute of my time since I started this case. So you can stop hitting me up like I'm rich or something, okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't give me that. You're gonna get plenty rich out of this, Mr. 40%. We've got the pg e fuckers by the balls. We got the pg e fuckers and Hinkley by the balls. In order to get rich off this, we need to hit the pg e corporate fuckers in San Francisco. What are you trying to say? pg e corporate is claiming they had no idea what was going on in Hinkley. I'm sorry, but they had to know about it. Show me the document that proves that. Then they didn't know. And if they didn't know, then we can't hit them for punitive damages. And punitive damages <coughs> is where the money is. You know what, Ed? The more I work on this thing, the more I realize what a crock of shit this legal system is. Here we got a company that poisons a whole aquifer, that builds a pool for a town, fills it with toxic water, and then we're the ones who gotta bust our ass proving to prove things? I think it's not right. You know, I like this case. It makes me sick. No, me too, it makes me sick. But it's been a long time since I actually gave two shits about a case. <laughs> so what you're trying to say is that you didn't care about my case? Oh, I would now. Aaron, I like working with you. Oh, good, Ed, because... Uh... I like working with you, too. Let me take you to dinner tonight. Seven o'clock. <laughs> My place. Hey, 
well, they used the hexachrome here in these choline tanks as an anti-corrosive, and uh, then they placed them here in these six ponds. I, I don't remember seeing any ponds over here. Well, they covered them over, and not too carefully either, because you dig one inch under the surface, and the dirt is green as a fucking shamrock. And that's what caused the contamination. It didn't help, but no. You see, uh, according to this, they were supposed to line the ponds so the shit couldn't seep into the ground. But guess what? They skipped that step. I guess it was a little too inconvenient. So for 14 years, this stuff flowed into the groundwater free as you please. Jesus. You know, I don't even want to know what you did to make this Melendez guy talk. For your information, Frank Carroll was in those ponds because he used to spend half his time waiting around them. That was his job. No shit. Mm. You know, Aaron, if I had put three researchers on this, they wouldn't have came up with half the stuff you did here. This is some damn good work. <laughs> then give me another raise. Hey, I got bills to pay, plus rent. Plus, I haven't billed a minute of my time since I started this case. So you can stop hitting me up like I'm rich or something, okay? Oh, don't give me that. You're going to get plenty rich out of this, Mr. 40%. We've got the PG&E fuckers by the balls. We got the PG&E fuckers in Hinkley by the balls. Nobody's getting rich off this unless we can pin this on the corporate fuckers in San Francisco. What are you trying to say? PG&E corporate is claiming they had no idea what was going on. They had to know about it. Show me the document that proves that. Then they didn't know. And if they didn't know, then we can't hit them up for punitive damages. And punitive damages is where the money's at. Hmm. Oh, Jesus Christ, you know? <laughs> the more I work on this thing, the more I realize what a crock of shit this legal system is. Here we've got a company that poisons a whole aquifer, then builds a pool for a town, fills it with toxic water, and then we're the ones that got to bust our ass proving things? Come on, it, it, it's not right. You know, I like this case. Well, it makes me sick. No, me too. That's why I like it. it it's been a long time since I gave two shits about any case. <laughs> so what you're trying to say is you didn't care about mine? Well, I would now. Aaron, I like working with you. Well, good, Ed. I, I like working with you, too. Then let me take you out tonight. <laughs> Teeny tiny, size, size too.